Inclinator's shut down and this area is closed off due to a toxic spill. I talked to the facility director and got the details on the mess. I want to take a look at the extent of the damage. I might take the cleanup contract. I don't care if the director hired you. She doesn't have the authority to send anyone into this mess. The WTO is handling the situation now. We've got bots patrolling, which I can't reprogram at this stage. There's no way we can guarantee anyone's safety under these conditions. So I'm barred from entry? I won't stop you, but I can't ensure you'll be safe from the toxic materials or the bots. If I was you, I wouldn't come within 50 yards of those bots unless I was armed to the teeth with EMP weapons. I tried to take out a bot with a shotgun one time. Fat chance. this platform now. The spill's been cleaned up. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to deal with it. I hope the director's paying you a fair wage, but in case she isn't, you might want to check out the repair bot storage closet if you haven't already. The code is 13490. <laughs>
I'm taking care of the problem. The area is no longer hazardous. Fantastic. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Looks like things are getting back to normal. They're gonna shut the inclinator down completely. I've been saying that since it was built. You said it wasn't gonna work, too. Then you said it was gonna get us jobs. You said everything, ten times over. You call that predicting the future? Think like that and they already got you script, man. That's their play. Make out like it was some low-town plot and see how we react. Doesn't bother me. Only time I went up the inclinator was when I got arrested. weapons in the greasel pit. First you gotta transmit the safety lock codes to freeze anything you're carrying. Go ahead, Sim. Thanks. There's sensors that will reactivate everything on your way out. But what about the apartment? I already picked up my gear. Your gear? You're leaving? Sid, you made me get this big place. Do you know how high my rent is? Come on, I'll be back. You know this is home to me, Cindy. Sandy. Sandy, right. But a captain's got to sail if he wants to keep his ship. Head downstairs. How's it going? What do you want? More uptown thieves every day. Another lucky night. Buy in is the house minimum. Odds are one to one. You really have cockfights with transgenics down here? Hey, better watch the thieves speak around the pit or these scabs. Not me, of course, but these other scabs might take advantage. Sorry. So how do I know it's transgenic to bet on? They all look the same to me. You work in a lab or something? Something like that. 
Well, we fight gobs down here. Green gobs, brown gobs, baby-stealing, sewer-slinking, good-eating gobs. Follow me? Right now, it's Green Dragon in the North Shoot, Shutterbug in the South. Let me think about it. Make it quick. Gobzilla's on deck. Looking for a sure thing? She's right under the grate there. Check out the scales on that girl. That's Green Dragon. She been in many fights? A greasel don't grow up wild and not get in fights. I said this gob is fresh, understand? I'll take your word for it. Hey, Jack, listen up. Wanna script some real cash? You look like the mercenary type. Depends on what you mean by script. Final match is four to one odds. Buy-in begins right after this fight, after which the odds stand, even if something happens to one trainer's lineup. You want me to kill someone's greasel? Shh! I'm talking about the champ Godzilla. Follow me? She's still at Tina's pad in the Heron's loft building near the Inclinator, apartment 22. I'll give you a bounty if that gob dies. I'll think about it. The bookie's at the south door. What's it gonna be? My money's on Green Dragon. Yeah, Green Dragon. I put my money on sewer gobs every time. Here you go. Name's Alex D. D for Upper Seattle Dandy. D for Don't Ask. Well, better get your bonds over to the pit. Your gob's dropping into the fire. Rip him shreds! That's more like it. <laughs> That's got a sting. I want to see some guts. Come on. Rip him shreds. I want to see some guts. Come on. more like it. A man can pick his gun. I won. I think you owe me some money. Save the attitude, D. The pit pays. Thanks. Come back later tonight. Tina's bringing in the champ, Gobzilla. It's gonna be Gobzilla versus Snake Eyes. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Poor girl. This was a first fight. It'll take us a while to get cleaned up for the next match. A new face. Interesting. Introduce yourself. Is this a prank call or something? Funny way to meet people. I search every place I can. You're very close, but not quite the one I'm looking for. Close to what? You look... modified. So? I need help. I'm a helicopter pilot. They're holding me captive, along with my chopper, at the WTO terminal in Upper Seattle. I just came from Upper Seattle. How'd you get this call past WTO security? I've tapped into the terminal's local network. The passcode to the hangar holding my vehicle is 00485. Get me out of here, and I'll fly you anywhere you want, free of charge. I brushed my neck for less. I'll think about it. Brother Danny. He cleans the bots and they clean the floors up there. How do you
This is my apartment. I guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who sent you? It was that Pequod's jerk, wasn't it? He isn't satisfied that he already has the zoning lockdown for all of Upper Seattle and can keep me out. He has to play like a mafia don and send people to harass me. I didn't come here looking for a fight. If he wants to peddle his overpriced Pequachinos down here, let him. But I deserve a shot at those babyface executives uptown. What I need is a hacker. Someone to break into the civic manager's computer at the WTO terminal and approve my zoning petition. Business is good down here. I've got money and I want to expand. Sounds like a risky operation, but I take it you can afford to hire a few thugs of your own. Well, I'd make it worth a certain someone's while, that's for sure. Why do you ask? Maybe I'll check back with you later tonight. Don't forget to come see me at the older church, Alex. State your business. Just going for a walk. You scoping the place? Working for Sid Black, maybe? Never heard of him. He owes Miss Sack some money. We're keeping his jet until he pays up. Last thing we need is some stranger casing the landing pad. Can I talk to Miss Sack? What for? Maybe I can help her get Mr. Black to pay. You better not be feeding me a line. You wouldn't fall for something like that. I guess you're right. Through this door, take the hallway to the elevator at the other end. It's busted, so you'll have to climb the ladder in the shaft to the top floor. Miss Sack's office is up there. Got it. Don't forget to come see me at the older church, Alex. That landing pad is run by a local smuggler, Sophia Sack. Looks like they've seized the Black's Harrier, probably as payment for phony debts. It never hurts to have a pilot who owes you a favor. You could pay the debt or, better, eliminate Sack and her henchmen for the good of the whole neighborhood. Respect my authority or I'm gonna take action! Miss Sachs in the office by the landing pad, so that she can keep an eye on her property. That is off limits. Thank <laughs> you. 
Unless Sid Black sent you to pay his debt, or you want to bring me his head, you'd better let one of my security guards escort you out. What do I get if I bring you his head? That was a joke. I already have his jet. I don't have any use for a half pound of his flesh. Did you have some business to... Wish I could help. Security around here is... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. You have a strong will, after all. That woman was trying to run us out of town. Now take care of her security force so that Sig can have his jet back. Someone there? We don't get written up for this. Processing anomaly. Thank 
Hello. There's a guard on duty here, you know. I saw something. Well, that's what they pay me for. Insurance.
No active weapons in the Greasel pit. Go ahead. Thanks. There's sense. Well, well. An enclave kid comes down to cruise the slums on Daddy's credit line. My parents are dead. They were in Chicago at the time of the attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Just talking chuff. No offense. Sure. Sid Black. Call me Sid. Best jet jockey in the Northern Hemisphere. So, you're on your own? If you took care of the people guarding your jet, you won't have any trouble taking it back. Cracking good work. Then I'll see you at the landing pad. You can How much do you charge your passengers? The going right. <laughs> cooked in her own crib. Gobzilla is no more. How'd Gobzilla get killed? One of the trainers, probably. Greedy scabs. They're the real animals of my book. Snake eyes. Right on. Going for the jackpot. There you go. You're in the game, D. Now get in there and shake your pom-poms for snake eyes. Head down, Claw. Head down. Rip and shreds. That's more like it. <laughs> That's got a sting. Guess you're looking to get paid. How much did I win? Let's see. Times four. My Thanks. Tomorrow night, same time, same place. Trader handles business. I'm shall we conduct. What are you selling? I have a black market biomod canister, which enables non -pe I'll take the black market. The Omar. <laughs> This such Alex D of Tarsus Academy, you are alive. You always speak the truth, Your Holiness. Have faith. The Order Church condemns the illegal biomodification experiments performed on you and the other trainees. Biomods are part of the training. We knew what they do to our tissues. Your biomod architecture is no piezochem clone. The trainees' DNA has been completely rewritten. We are certain the one called Leo would have been ineligible for biomodification without extensive gene replacement. Sounds like typical R&D. No. The technology's uses exceed what you might expect. It could standardize the human organism, make all ability and talent into software modules. You think there's a political agenda behind my biomods? Yes. We have rescued you so that you can help us identify and defeat your creators. Please listen to my high auger. You must strive with your meditations to become a Pandita, our Hindu brother's origin. Oh. 
disassembling tissues, finished repairing damage. Unlocking your server can also help you achieve greater order. As the Muslims before you knew who revered this attribute, you must be steadfast. I'm here. You said you had more to say about the raid on Tarsus. What went wrong? We're still investigating. I haven't heard from Captain Lamar since he disobeyed my orders. Why should I join a group which is at war with itself? Unifying the world's religions is a difficult enterprise. What we must do, and I ask your help in this, is determine what happened to Captain Lamar so that we can assess the operation. Just as you arrived, I got a report that he had abandoned his unit. Incidentally, my agents have been following your activities in Upper Seattle. One of your own captains? AWOL? He was seen with a gang of local thugs linked to the Knights Templar. He did a little moonlighting after the Tarsus raid by coordinating a prison break. Busy man. He's pinned down in the Inclinator right now, negotiating with the authorities for safe passage out of Seattle. I want you to infiltrate the facility and learn what you can about this betrayal. What's the connection to the Knights Templar? Unclear. One of their commanders was facing trial, and I guess Templar extremism appealed to some of our seekers. The church seems to be losing ground in disadvantaged neighborhoods, where the poor are quick to join any cause that makes them feel powerful. I'm on my toes now. I'll see what's the matter. Step out where I can see you clearly. Find this troublemaker. I'm not joking. Give yourself up. My seekers, you must activate your Kundalini for your be spiritual afraid. energy. As you purify What's your spirit in your right? search for true order, it will ascend from one spiritual center or chakra in your bodies to another. As it reaches your higher chakras, you will gain new insights, bringing your lives into deep.